my entire adult life. I have been two steps behind you with this camera, trying to keep up with you. I am a workhorse, not a show horse. I was born into a family that was fiercely patriotic and staunchly democratic. Politics was the life that we led. I have the high privilege as the first president to begin the State of the Union message with these words. Madam Speaker. Well, let's look at Pelosi in the House, a new HBO documentary in which the filmmaker knows quite a bit about her subject. The director is Alexandra Pelosi, the daughter of Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. And as you heard at the beginning, a lot of it is a daughter following her mother around with a camera. She shot it over the course of three decades, and it shows all of Nancy Pelosi's milestones leading up to the inauguration of President Biden in January of 2021. Good morning, Alexandra. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You know, it is interesting. I do remember your your award-winning uh, documentary about George Bush, Journeys with George, and I kept thinking it was interesting that you were following George Bush around, but here your mother's Nancy Pelosi, and you were spending all this time with him. Had you been following your mom all that time throughout all of these years? I have. I've made 14 HBO documentaries. The first one was Traveling with George Bush, and over the years, as I made these other movies, this was sort of just, you know, a labor of love on the side, just following, because, you know, when you grow up in a political family, you have to, a lot of obligations to go to a lot of political functions, like State of the Unions and certification of the election of the President of the United States, this was what, January 6th, why we were there on January 6th. So for me, I've been filming on and off for so many years, and I thought inevitably I had to just make a film because I knew somebody was going to do it, so I figured I might as well do it since I was in the room where stuff was happening. Did you feel pressure to make a glowing portrayal of your mother, as mm -hmm. some might, or is there something in this film that she is not happy with? I love that question. Thank you for asking. I still can't believe that this is airing on HBO because Nancy Pelosi never authorized this film. She never signed a release. She never gave me permission. She saw it for the first time at the National Archives for the premiere on Monday night. I was very nervous uh, because I figured once it's aired, there's nothing she can do, right? Mm -hmm. She did give me some notes. There's about a dozen things she does not think belong in the film. Very personal at home moments, like doing the laundry and walking around in her pajamas and all that kind of stuff that I think a lot of people do not expect to see in the film. I know I'm the daughter, but people think just because you're the daughter, I mean, don't you have a mother? Do you think your mother's right. perfect? Is that the portrait you're gonna make? Are you gonna make a portrait of your perfect mother? I know my mother's not perfect. My mother's an, you know, is an interesting character, let's put it that way. What are people, whether they're a fan or not of your mother, what are they gonna learn from watching this or, or see that might surprise them? That's a very, another very good question. You guys are on today. Ah, uh, we're well, trying. Yeah, well, I think what's interesting is that she just keeps going. Things are never as good as they seem. Things are never as bad as they seem. She just, I mean, she goes for decades. She was eight years, she's just out of power, and she just keeps putting on those heels and marching through the halls. And I'm not trying to change anyone's politics. I know there are, half the country hates her, and there's nothing I can do about that. This is not about politics. I try to stay completely apolitical, and I keep saying, I didn't even vote in the last election. Now, I have a good excuse. I was in the ICU with my father, but that's not the point. The point is I'm not here to promote Democratic Party platform points, you know? I'm just trying to show you what it's like to be speaker. My mother told me she had never been into the speaker's office before she became speaker herself. I think she's and calling so you right now. <laughs> <laughs> she's pinging. She's a big brother. She sees, she's, she's yeah. saying, yeah, see, I'm the off-message daughter, so she's always a little nervous about what I'm going to say. Uh, so all of this is very, shall we say, off-message. Yeah. How, how is your father doing? Oh, such a tough question. He is recovering every day, physically getting much better, great doctors. The emotional scars, you know, the, uh, attack, the man who attacked my father is in court today. This is the beginning of the whole court proceedings. There's going to be evidence released in court, and people are going to hear the 911 call. There's a lot coming out now about the actual whole night of what happened, and it's terrifying for the family. It's super traumatizing to have to hear these things. I just keep saying over and over to my friends that all vote Republican, no matter who you are and who you vote for, it's never okay for an 82-year-old man to be attacked in his home in the middle of the night just because they don't like his wife. Mm. I still am trying to make peace with that. You know, I have teenage boys, and they constantly are asking me, why do all these people want to kill Mimi? They call her Mimi. And I'm always trying to come up with a good answer. And it's just I don't know how politics got so toxic and yeah. 
where the civility went. Because I saw my old friend George W. Bush last week, and it's like a buddy film. We're still great friends, and he's still great friends with my mother. And they had a lot of fights about the Iraq war in particular, mm -hmm. but they get along very magically. And I think people don't understand. There was a time where people didn't agree, but they really got along. Mm -hmm. And I, I have hope, I'm trying to come up with some hope, that we'll get back to that again. Yeah, we saw just that clip of him introducing her as Madam Speaker, and you see a friendly handshake, and it's just the difference between that and when President Trump was speaking. It's just things have changed a lot over the course of the time your mom has been Speaker of the House, for sure. Well, and also, she didn't have to deal with the social media stuff. Yeah. That's the part that's so destructive about all of this, is that the toxic social media environment has just been destroying, you know, the public conversation. There's, you know, last night, I, you know, I'm not on social media. I never go on social media, but my kids are on social media. And so the movie aired last night for the first time and people were saying, mom, they're saying you're a pedophile. Mom, they're saying that, um, you know, there's like the kinds of things that people say, I understand you may not like Nancy Pelosi and you may not agree with any of her politics, but why are you calling her a pedophile on social media? Yeah. It's just insane. The hmm. fact that that's the conversation we're having, like we expect reviews, I'll get bad reviews. I'll get some good ones, I'll get some bad ones. That's how life is. It's always a mix. People don't agree on anything in this country. But I don't know how we get from, what did you think of this film, to Nancy Pelosi's a pedophile. I mean, and there was like trending, things like that on, on Twitter. So we've just, I'm wondering where the, the line is with First Amendment and how we express our disagreements and how we get along as humans yeah. in the next era. Now that Nancy Pelosi stepped down, I feel very liberated and I don't have to worry about this. I'm hoping that the next generation of leaders will watch this film and learn that there was a time many years ago where everybody did get along even though they didn't agree. And mm -hmm. maybe it's a civic lesson where you can learn how bills get passed. Right. Pelosi in the House is streaming now on HBO and HBO Max. Alexandra, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Alexandra. Us. Thank you for having me.